and welcome to collegecandy.com. You're watching CC Beauty Live and I'm Molly. So what I did last night was I created um, a nail polish rack and what that is is this kind of, you know when you go and get, you get, you know when you go and get your nails done how they have all of the colors like lined out in kind of like a holder thing? Well I saw on this blog how to create your own so I filmed myself doing it and now I'm going to walk you through the steps so that you can hang all of your nail polish up and you can see the colors. Because if you're like me, you have like, I don't know, hundreds of nail polish colors and no way to see them all if they're in like a little bag or box or something. So I thought this would be great. Um, mine holds about, well mine holds all of my nail polish perfectly but I have a lot of like the little bottles. So I mean you'll see when I show you the finished product. Let's go. The first thing you're going to need is three foam boards like so. I got mine at Target for like $3 and a tool to cut and a ruler. You're going to measure every five inches with your ruler on the long end of the board and just make a little line because that's where your shelves are going to be. Next take the second foam board and measure every two inches on your ruler and draw a line. And you're going to want to connect this all the way and these are going to be with the foam board horizontally. And then you're going to cut these out. So make sure you have a box cutter or a craft knife or something because the foam is kind of hard to cut out. Make sure your lines are really straight because the first time I did it mine were not and it proved to be a pain later. On the same board where you measure the two inch strips, measure one inch strips going the other way. And you're going to cover these with a duct tape if you want, um, and they're to help the nail polish stay on. And then with your third foam board, board you're going to measure every two and a half inches and cut those into strips too. So by the end of it, you will have three different strips. Two inch strips, one inch strips, and two and a half inch strips. Like I said, use a craft knife or something and try and get those lines really, really straight. After you've cut out all of your strips, take the two inch strips and put them on your foam board that's still intact. Remember how we measured every five inches? Well, you're going to put these every five inches. And you're going to need six of every strip, except for the two and a half inch strips, you only need two of those. Then take your one inch strips and you can cover them with duct tape to give them a cuter look. My room is blue so I'm using blue duct tape and you're going to glue those to the flatly on top of the strips you've already glued down. Finally once you've glued the duct tape strips down flat, take the two two and a half inch strips and glue them on the ends to create a sort of boxed in feel. And do this obviously for all of the shelves that you have on your nail polish rack.
right, guys. Thanks for watching this week's CC Beauty Live. If you make your own nail polish rack, will you tweet me at College Candy or at Guacamole? I want to see your finished designs. And have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.